Because he's a fucking bitch. That's why. Fucking poon ass. He literally just, just, I'm. <sighs> right, the first game. Dude, please, dude, please let me go off on him, Sparks. Please. I will literally pay you to let me go off on this kid. <laughs> What's the big deal? This dude just he's doesn't want like to do torment. Torment. Like, he's acting like he's getting sentenced with life or some shit. <clears throat> Austin, you won't be able to. Yeah. He's out in the woods somewhere, apparently. It doesn't surprise me, honestly. We're apparently allowed to call him if we want to. That's not how it works. Can someone from our team do it? No. Hey, so I have a question. I'm inviting Mueller to this. So. I'm assuming I'm assuming he's not gonna come and I'm assuming that we can try it. yeah but but still this kid needs to be fucking removed from management I'm sorry that's the most fucking captured alpha go oh my god this kid fucking oh my lord my head hurts and I don't know where this was at. Alright, so pretty much here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna just tell you guys pretty much the rundown. Um, while I'm doing interviews, I'm pretty much gonna go down the list of teams. If you're, if I'm not talking to you, just mute your mic. Um, and we'll get through these quicker than shit, hopefully. Um, sound good? What do you mean by list of teams? You mean like alphabetical, obviously, right? Like, pretty much, I'm gonna go to where's it at? Um, team rosters. The first team that I would be doing is Calgary. Calgary, then Detroit, then Florida, Minnesota, Montreal, Pittsburgh, Seattle, Toronto, Vancouver, Washington. Marking targets. You cleared off. away. Alright, you guys ready? Oh, stream. Yeah. Oh, motherfucker. Yeah, I know. I've invited them all four fucking times. Enemy UIC. That's fine. I Enemy at the top. don't care. He's fine. <laughs> As long as Mueller just keeps his mic muted, unless he's gonna talk instead of Alex. UAV entering the AO. We're taking Alpha. 
Um, I'm gonna get the stream set up while we wait for these. Enemy at the leaves. restaurant. Got movement. Ah! Hostiles at Charlie. Go. Your need is a Bravo. What? I didn't know about it until today. Yeah, I didn't know about it until like an hour ago. Yeah, I posted it in the management chat. Fucking how long ago? Oh, well, I didn't see it this morning. Yeah, it was posted yesterday. We've got Bravo. Oh, look who it is. Person up because he's the... never mind, you won't be. Alright, so everybody else, but hey, first of all, young gun, fuck off. I can see your messages, you fucking cunt. Um, everybody but Calgary, me, you Requesting recon. UAV entering the AO. Alright. Jesus Christ. Alright, uh, Mutaka, can you hear me? Cruise missile, go for launch. Perfect. Alright, um, also, before we do this, make sure that everybody has their voice shared and they can be shared through broadcast. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. For a while, for current party. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, today is the start of the VPHL official season. Um, this is the first season of the league, so here we're going to start off with um, doing interviews for the owners. So I'm going to start off with Calgary and their owner, Utaka. Utaka, how you doing, bud? Alright, it's actually the Mutaka. The Mutaka. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Alright, um, so... How was well, the beginning of the we season started off for you so far, oh. like player-wise? Uh, we've had a lot of turnover. Oh, perfect. Uh, just a few people working their way in, working their way out. A couple of people demonstrating lack of social skills, and, you know, all that fun stuff. But other than that, we, got a, we had a good week to play together. We just have to, you know, rebuild all that shit that got torn down the other day. Perfect. Um, so, your game's tonight. Who do you guys play tonight? Florida and Montreal. Florida and Montreal. Montreal being the number two team on the power rankings that came out. How do you think you're going to fare against them? Uh, I feel like I'm going to hit, hit in the face with a lot of pucks as I'll be goaltending that game, but I think we'll do it. Uh, I've got a couple of guys that are uh, our first liners. We're going to throw them out there and see how they do. But, uh, you know, they've been playing well together. They've been playing well together a lot. So it's definitely going to be a challenge, but I think we'll be all right. It'll be a close game. All right, so how do you feel about the uh, the TC being removed? So pretty much you're just going to have a full roster. <clears throat> well, you know, it, it limits what we can do functionally by, you know, stashing somebody down there or maybe bringing somebody up later, later along the line. And it, you know, it gives everybody an opportunity to play, so I'm, I'm actually for that. But <clears throat> I would... Uh, I would have liked to have that option. Uh, it's more of a realistic.
realistic type of league situation where you can put somebody down or bring somebody up and just stash players away. I really would have liked to put fucking uh, John Cook on there just to see what would happen. Okay, perfect. So, out of the eight game season, how many games do you think you're gonna end up? Like, what do you think your record's gonna be? Uh, uh, 55 plus, maybe 60. I don't know. It's gonna be a tough season. 55 plus, uh, maybe 60. 55 plus, maybe 60. Yeah. Perfect. I think we have a solid team. Perfect. All right. Um, I think that's all the questions I have for you. So you are good. Um, next person I'm gonna be talking to is the Detroit Red Wings owner, Jess Bhs. How you doing, buddy? Not bad today. How are you? Good. Alright, so as most of the people know that are that have watched the other video we had, we've already kind of done an interview with Jess. Um, he kind of gave us a rundown on who he thinks the sleeper picks are and a bunch of stuff like that. So, um, who do you guys play today? Uh, we got Montreal in the game at 80 Stern, and then we have Pittsburgh after that. Okay, so how do you think? At least today, what do you think your record after today? I think we're gonna go two and zero. I think we got a solid team built right now. Okay. So I think we just gotta get them past Alex, and I think we're gonna be advised, you know, donate both games actually. RTB for resupply. Perfect. All right. Um. So the season consists of 80 games. Um. With that long of a season, do you think that that's gonna have an effect on how you play? kind of feel about the whole season. Like, do you think they're gonna like that there's 80 games, or do you think they're gonna like this too much? Um, I've had a few of my guys already say that that they're down to play every single game if needed. Um, so I think that everybody is ready to go for the entire 80 games. Alright, so what do you think your uh, record's gonna be? Uh, I'd say we're gonna make the playoffs. I don't, I don't know what the... On the record, it'll be like, but I'd say we'll make playoffs this year. Playoffs, perfect. So that's a good, that's an easy objective to hit. That's awesome. Not trying to get too ahead of yourself. That's good. All right. Um, thank you for your time. Um, the next person I'm going to talk to is actually the GM of Florida, Mr. Night Ember. Night, how you doing, buddy? Perfect. So I know that you. I think you just got put into. The GM spot, correct? Like a few days ago. So, we've lost problems. Yeah. So, how do you feel about your team in its entirety, coming from a player aspect to a management aspect? Perfect, so you guys are focusing more on the chemistry aspect, the less on the actual... Got it. Alright, um, so being a player first, do you think that your uh, owner that you have now is going to make a huge difference when it comes to season games? Top four teams for the power ring. Do you think today. that that's going to be a really difficult down. challenge for you guys? No. Perfect. All right. Um, all right. So, eighty game season. I have to ask everyone this: What do you think your record is going to be over the season?
okay, so we're on that 50, 60 range for wins. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right. So the next person I'm going to talk to is actually the GM of Minnesota as well, Mr. Sad Tech. How you doing, buddy? Sad. You alive? Yes, sir. Perfect. All right. Have you been the GM there the whole time? Yeah. Yeah, so how do you feel the team got built through the draft? Do you think that it went very well for the draft for you guys? Um, so far, yeah. We're having a little, little problems turning over the puck. Okay. So you guys are dealing with turnover issues. Um, yeah. How do you think your defensive-wise buildup is going so far? Uh, so far, it's been pretty good. That's good. Um, is there anything that you are worried about for this season player wise um, do you feel like you don't have the adequate enough um, players to really have a good chemistry or is there anything like that going on um to be honest I've been busy with LG and VG the last for this last week so I haven't really been around much for the, for the last couple of days but um other than that no okay um do you think there'll be any problems? I know that you guys have guys that aren't exactly one league players. <laughs> um, right. Do you think there'll be a huge issue with scheduling on that point? Probably. Um, really? um, most likely, yeah. Probably okay, for the first couple of weeks until at least the LG playoffs are done. Mm-hmm. Well, okay, after perfect. that, hopefully it will get better. Um, all right. Do you, so the eighty game season. How many wins do you guys think you guys are going to take home this year? I'd say forty-five, fifty. Forty-five, fifty. Yeah. Okay. So shooting for that fifty mark. I think everyone so far has said right around that fifty mark. Um. So all right. Thank you. All right, so yeah. the next person I'm going to talk to, I don't know which one of them I'm going to talk to. I have both management from Montreal. Um, I don't know if it's going to be Alex or Mueller. Um, is it going to be Alex that's talking? I'll talk, yeah. Perfect. So Alex the Animal is actually the starting old tenor for Montreal, yeah. and this this kid's a stud. Like, <laughs> I think, I honestly think that the owning core, I think there's two owners that play goaltender two or three and um, I think that this season for goaltending is going to be awesome Alex what do you think your competition is for goaltending wise goaltending I don't know um, I mean you're pretty good at goalie so I have to give you that you're you're probably one of my toughest competitors but if I'm on my game I don't think anybody's better than me so but we'll see Okay. I think there's a lot of guys like in here. I think there's a lot of guys in here that are good at goalie and they they can hold their own. But I think with our with our team, it's it's tough to put up a shutout against us. Fair enough. All right. Um. So with um with the season coming up, you guys were number two on the power rankings. Um. Do you think that was kind of a low shot, or do you think that was right in a good area to where you guys don't? It looked at too heavily. Um, you know, I don't really pay attention to these the power rankings and stuff because we just like to play, play the games and win. But you know, if you guys want to put us at two, we'll we'll take it, I guess. But we'll be at number one by the end of the season, no doubt. Okay. Um. So with the current roster you guys have, I know that you guys are at least every time that I've played you guys, you guys have been putting up. I want to say it's a thirty shot average. Yeah. Roughly every single game so do you think that high power offense is going to be the reason you guys are so successful I honestly think it's going to be our defense we have I think we have we have a stellar defense we got two guys back there that can they have some penalty issues but we'll get that figured out by the end of the year but those two guys if they play well and they lock it down for us and they I mean they limit the other team sometimes we'll play games where the other team has like six shots at the end of the period is you don't do anything, and then the four check is amazing. I think honestly, everything else except for our, I mean, our offense is good and we'll score, but it's our four check and our defense that do the little things right, and they you know, we get pucks in deep, and we just make magic happen out there. Perfect. All right. So, what do you guys think your record's gonna be? Eighty win or uh, eighty 
game season. How many do you guys know. think you're going to win? You don't know? Um, I'd say somewhere between 65. It's like 60 to 65. We'll be around there. We'll lose 60, games. 65? We're not going to be perfect. We'll lose games, but we're not we're not losing too many. Perfect. All right. Thank you very much. All right, the next person I'm going to talk to is actually the newly appointed GM of Pittsburgh, Mr. Bruins. How you doing, buddy? Hello. Hello, Bruins. <laughs> What's going on? Nothing much. How you doing? Uh, oh, not bad. Not bad. Um. So, how are you feeling right now, dude? <laughs> newly appointed GM. Newly appointed GM, you're kind of getting thrown into a a mix that um, not a lot of people are wanting to be involved in. So, how do you feel? Your how do you feel it's going so far? Who me? Yeah. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Um, not not bad. You, I think we've got a good team. Yeah. Do you think you guys are going to succeed a lot? Oh, I'd like to think so. We've got some. We've got some firepower. We're deadly. I think. Perfect. All right. Um, is there anything that people need to know about, like your team and how you guys are gonna, how you think you're gonna do at least? Well, I can't, I, I can't give out too many secrets, but you gotta be tight on defense if you're gonna play against us. Okay, so a high-powered offense. That's awesome yeah, to hear. I can't, I can't 